Hello, I'm interested in the Highland Clearances and therefore I'm interested in who lives in Scotland. And certainly I had the idea that any state is the same as a large number of people of the same kind um, who live there. But in fact, when you look at a state, when you look at England, and Scotland, France, Germany, Italy, Spain and so on, one thing that hits you straight away is that none of them are able to say we are 100% Spanish, 100% French, 100% German. There are always minorities and in fact what a state is at the present time is not somebody thought oh wouldn't it be nice if all the French people were in the same country under the same government all the Italians are... no no the um, countries we've got now when you look at the map are the result of fighting and um, uh, dictatorships and competition uh, among different groups of people and the result is that every state now, every, all the ones I looked at as uh, have minorities and so you have to firstly get rid of the idea that inevitably any state uh, is simply composed 100% of a certain kind of people. And if you look at Scotland, that's an obvious example. The first thing you look at, see when you think of Scottish people, and um, of course, if you go across the um, England-Scotland boundary, uh, it, 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 there, there isn't a, a, a state um, frontier you, you just know you've crossed the boundary because there's a little sign at the side of the road saying you're in Scotland now. And very often the first thing you see will be a chap dressed in Highland costume playing the bagpipes with a little cap at his feet hoping <laughs> that you will contribute to keep him in whiskey, I suppose. I don't know. But uh, and so you think, oh, got to Scotland. And so you go and read about Scotland and really there's, uh, there was, if anybody up to say 1700 or 1750, uh, when you've just crossed the border north of Carlisle or north of Newcastle, if you've crossed the border, if any Scottish lowlander had seen a Highlander then, he'd have run for his life because he was the enemy. Scotland, in other words, has never had the same kind of people everywhere. Scotland, in particular, has never been uh, a, uh, the same people. There are two completely different people in what is now called Scotland. One is the Lowlands, one is the Highlands. The two people, the Lowlanders and the Highlanders, came from different areas. The Lowlanders came from northern Germany, like the English did, uh, and the Low Countries, a bit of Denmark and so on, around there. They came across, apparently the land was sinking, so one theory has it, and they had to find somewhere else to go. They came across and they populated England and the Lowlands of Scotland. At roughly the same time, from Ireland, people were coming across uh, Gaelic-speaking people who had nothing to do with the Lowlanders, came across a fairly narrow bit of sea between Northern Ireland and Western Scotland, and they populated uh, the highlands of Scotland. And there was absolutely no connection between the Lowlanders and the Highlanders, apart from the fact that they probably had a fight every time they saw each other. They were not the same kind of people at all. And furthermore, they lived in a different way. The Lowlanders were people who had killed the land. The Highlanders were people who hunted wild animals and game and fish. They, they dressed differently. They had a completely different way of speaking. The Lowlanders couldn't understand the Highlanders. The Highlanders couldn't understand 
the Lowlanders. And yet, uh, together, they call themselves Scotland. And the Lowlanders, because now to be a Highlander is a kind of a romantic ideal, very often a Lowlander who gets married or whatever will wear a kilt, even though his ancestors, as I say, would have run a mile if they saw anybody wearing a kilt. In fact, Macaulay in his History of England says, I can't understand this kind of development. It's like saying uh, that in the early days of the United States, um, uh, a highly uh, respectable inhabitant of Boston or New York was just the same as a red Indian with feathers sticking out of his hair. They were two completely different people and one is uh, very hostile to the other. But it is now called Scotland, but uh, you have to remember from the beginning they are two completely different people there. The Lowlanders speaking English and the Highlanders speaking Gaelic. Thank you.